G'day YouTube. Just a quick overview of CentOS 6.2, uh, the newest CentOS uh, distribution. Now, uh, as I said, just a quick overview, so I'll just quickly go over the features here that I've found with it. Now, just before I even start that, you'll notice that it's got the, the GNOME uh, 2. Point something something desktop uh, display manager. As you'll see, it's the old school format, which most people have probably risen beyond, but I find it to be very, very, um, very fast, very effective, very stable. Okay, now I'll just go over the list. That's It's called GNOME 2.28, which is even a little bit older than what was used in the version of Ubuntu that had it last. It was 2.3, so it's even a little bit older, but it's very fast and very stable. Uh, next after that, we've got the... It's the 2.6.32 kernel and um, let me just double check that now 2.6.23 yep that's right and I'm running also the 64-bit it comes in both 32-bit and 64-bit architecture now CentOS of course comes from real which is otherwise known as Red Hat Enterprise Linux and it just goes upstream and then it turns into CentOS. CentOS is a very, very stable version of it, you could say. Uh, it, it's actually, they're, they're very similar in release cycles, in fact, so very, very close. CentOS, of course, stands for Community Enterprise Operating System as well. Now, the package manager they use is much like Fedora as well. It's Yum. And the update tool is RPM, much like Fedora as well. And uh, let's see, lastly, okay, what CentOS is actually used for is Linux web servers, really. Uh, it's said to be the most popular Linux web server there is. And that's interesting to me because it is also said that in general, out of all operating systems, Linux uh, carries most of the weight for all web servers at about 75%. So when you think about it, it's it's... It's a good portion of all web service alone CentOS's. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It also uses this great little firewall, which is also used on Fedora. It's it's quite simple, and yet at the same time, it's got a lot of features and very effective. I just have to throw in my password to show it, but it's it's so much better than most of the uh, the firewalls out there on, for example, Ubuntu or something like that. It, what's it called? System Config Firewall. Okay, that's the one. And uh, it's just great for adding exceptions, losing them, uh, switching ports around, all that sort of thing. It's, it's very, very helpful, and I'd recommend it for any distro that you work on. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's fast. It's running on a virtual uh, VMware at the moment for me, and it's just blazing fast. It's probably even faster than my Ubuntu that I'm actually running right now. Alright, uh, thanks for your time, guys. Any questions, just uh, give us a hoot, and uh, cheers. Thanks for your time.